Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Memo Sebo. Thanks for watching the video. This is my review for Legion's pilot episode, appropriately called Chapter One. <laughs> for anyone who didn't really like it because it was confusing, that's the whole point of this show. I mean, the protagonist is insane, and since we're getting to see the story from his point of view, we can never know what's real and what's not. You're supposed to feel uneasy and unsure, so things can be revealed to you as they revealed to David. Legion aims to be more of a standalone supernatural character drama than a superhero show. Such a cool pilot episode. Noah Hawley is probably best known for creating and writing the anthology series Fargo on FX. He was a writer and producer on the first three seasons of the television series Bones and also created The Unusuals and My Generation. He wrote the screenplay for the film The Alibi, Hawley, so his photography and art direction need not be mentioned they're so freaking good i mean he's an he's an absolute genius of plot development he builds suspense like no one else and his fights are always have gravity to them because they're expressions of the characters just a basic really quick rundown of the episode the main gist you know what what happened a summary so um, the mutant is in the mental hospital that's david legion he meets a girl who is also mutant sid she's supposed to get out a body switch happens, so he gets out instead in Sid's body. So Sid's in David's body, she freaks out, and she causes a major incident. It wears off, they switch bodies back, he gets captured and interrogated about the incident, and Sid comes by with help and rescues him. The weird thing about the switch was the scene in the park, where David is eating, the body switch, he is back in his body, and Sid is back in hers, and no one noticed them changing, so they're just, it could be something weird with his memory. I still don't get it, that's why I love it. <laughs> but it's weird, I mean, no one noticed the body switching? I hope they don't explain that, because it's cool like that. I was very intrigued by Sid's no touching thing. Uh, Holly did not disappoint, of course, with a masterpiece like Fargo on his record. I want to see if they explore the depths of insanity and mental health problems and how organizations manipulate it and how it can affect superpowers. I loved how highly stylized and twitchy it is because it reflects the characters really well. The colors are just amazing, the red lights, the pink hats, the orange tracksuits. Special effects are pretty damn good for a TV show. But I do want some questions answered soon though. The biggest question everyone is asking themselves is who is the Yellow Eyed Demon? Well, in the 1980s, Marvel introduced a new villain for the X-Men to take on called Mojo. Mojo belongs to an alien race called the Spineless Ones, who are essentially left powerless without access to advanced technology. Mojo rules over a separate universe called the Mojoverse, a dimension where all beings are addicted to his gladiator-like television programs. Basically, he is a multiversal TV producer for, from the X-Men. And there's some coincidences with this yellow eyed demon and Mojo. He is fat, he is yellow, he is a blob. There's there's too many of the coincidences. Like for example, check out this scene. There are a bunch of monitors, TVs, surveillance going on, from the set in the swimming pool to the dreams of monitors in a field. There is a bunch of stuff about TV. This meta stuff is what Holly likes to play around with. Mojo was revealed to be running surveillance on every mutant on Earth under a secret identity. Yellow eyes. However, with all the coincidence aside, there is another candidate, the Shadow King. He has been circulating the webs, he was introduced earlier than Mojo, and he has close ties with Legion in the comics, with David. In the Muir Island saga, Shadow King takes control over Legion. However, there are too many arrows just pointing at Mojo. I think it will be Mojo. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I am Emmo Sebo. This was my review for Legion Episode 1, called Chapter 1. If you enjoyed, click the like button, check out my other videos, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.